Hi everyone and welcome to Morning Coffee Break. Hope everybody's alright today. I got a light that's gone out on me that I usually have on when I'm making videos. Um, I don't know if this looks wor if this looks darker now or what, but um, it, it's it's a fluorescent light. I've got LED bulbs in it, you know, but it's a fluorescent light, you know, fixture. Um, it's really old. I guess the ballast, because uh, it would be on for a while, for maybe up to a half hour, and it would turn off, and you'd have to turn it off for a while, and then wait, and then it would come back on later on. So that sounds like the ballast to me. So I probably end up having to get a whole new, uh, you know, unit for it. But um, today is Saturday, April 1st. Currently it's 60 degrees. High today is 73. Uh, chance of rain, 80% today. And wind is at 10 mile per hour. There's some wind advisories, I believe. Um, so... You know, yesterday I had my infusion, and I'm feeling pretty rough, like I figured I would uh, always do, really. Uh, so I had the, I got the grocery outlet haul. Since I made an infusion video yesterday, I sent it out, and then the uh, grocery outlet haul I was telling you about will be today. So we'll have that today. And... Uh, last night, I just didn't really feel like uh, fixing the pizza and stuff. Um, but we were eating kind of late, and uh, I started feeling really tired. Uh, really tired and stuff. It hit me a little bit earlier this time for some reason. I don't know why, but didn't feel like fixing anything, so we got pals. Uh, big, I got a big pal of cheese. Mm. Let's see. Tonight, we'll have the pizza and salad. Now. <coughs> okay. Uh, oh, gosh. There was something I was going to mention. Yeah, it's been dreary and stuff. Rainy. It's been cooler outside. And colder overnight. Really, that's probably about the way it would normally be. I think we got spoiled by that uh, hot, you know, weather that we had not hot. Well, it was 81 uh, one day, and it was close to 80 another day. It felt awful warm because we weren't, weren't used to it. Oh, what was this thing? Something popping up on my tablet. It's one of those... Um, cleaner things that cleans it like uh, I forget what it said what's it called junk cleaner or something like that it'll pop up sometimes but yeah yeah for a few days I'll feel kind of rough it's just real powerful medicine uh, that I have for the infusion and it, it's well worth it to me because after that I feel good for well, about till the next time. I start feeling when it, it seems like it wears off about a few days or a week, something like that, before uh, I get the next one. But it, it'll be eight weeks at least. It goes by so fast, though. It seemed like I just got had it done, you know, uh, a week ago or something. I don't know how time really flies. So, yeah, we got some today's tidbits. I didn't really feel like doing a... Uh, taste test or anything right now uh, we'll, I've got some things that I will be trying though uh, maybe one other day okay uh, a barge with tons of toxic methanol submerges in Ohio River now, everything has been they've had so much trouble up there but it's the, the Ohio River is it didn't happen in Ohio it's says, on Tuesday, a barge carrying 1,400 tons of methanol, a toxic substance, crashed on the Ohio River near Louisville, Kentucky, and is partly submerged. The boat hauling 11 barges hit a stationary object near the McAlpine Dam. Officials said that resources for monitoring the air and water are in place, and there is presently no evidence of any leaks. Let's hope it doesn't leak 
and they can get it get it out of there and stuff Mammoth Mountain's record snowfall stacks up to a seven story height the west was battered by storm after storm this winter Mammoth Mountain's peak has 864 inches of snow on it the height of a seven story structure According to Guinness World Records, it would take eight people each measuring eight feet, 11 inches to reach the snow's top on Mammoth Mountain Summit, or you would need to stack four two-story houses. Well, what is this eight people uh, measuring eight feet? Nobody measures eight feet, 11 inches. <laughs> Come on. Why don't you just say uh, 12 people, five foot 10 or six foot tall? I mean... 8 feet 11 inches, that's almost 9 feet, and what, what's 8 times 9, am I, hmm. 8 times 8, you know what, I'm trying to figure out how much 8 times 9 is, hold on, <laughs> okay, so I, like I said, I rounded it off, you know, to 9 feet, just to make it easier, instead of 8 feet 11 inches, and 8 times 9 is 72, but 12 times 6 is 72. Why don't you just say 12 people 6 foot tall? And we would kind of know what you mean. I mean, I know I pick at some of this stuff, but it's just silly. Some of the things that they compare it to. It's just like that one, that asteroid was uh, the size of 122 camels. I, I was I trying to picture 122 camels. You know, okay, ooh, hmm. you know, couldn't figure that one out. So, yeah, 12 people, six foot tall, everybody. And it says, or you'd need to stack two, uh, stack four two-story houses. That, I can kind of see that too. Mm, four, okay. That's a lot. <laughs> so, okay. Uh, rare Pacific sleeper shark uh, found in Solomon Islands volcano. I've heard about sharks being in, uh, like, there'll be a dormant volcano would have, like, you know, a lake or something in it. I've heard about, uh, I guess it's salt water, though, you know. I don't know, but I guess so, since sharks can live in it. But I've heard about sharks being in there. They're finding sharks. But I've never heard about this one. This one's pretty rare. The Pacific, oh, did I show you? Looks pretty nasty. Uh, a Pacific, the Pacific sleeper shark, a rarely seen species, was recently captured on camera for only the third time in history. Surprisingly, it was discovered deep within the vents of Kavachi, an active volcano in the Solomon Islands, instead of its usual Arctic habitat. The video proves that the shark is capable of surviving in extreme con environments. <coughs> wow. And this one says, <coughs> Joe's got a tickle. Miami resident captures mysterious double moon on sky. On sky? Maybe they mean in sky? Not on sky. Okay. A video allegedly showing two moons in the sky was recorded in Miami, Florida recently. The video appears to show a strange double crescent moon, but experts say there aren't actually two moons in the sky. It is most likely a reflection or an optical illusion caused by the refraction of ice particles in the atmosphere. Okay, that sounds more feasible. All right, let's see here. Let's see if I can find uh, some nice new. Nice news. Okay. Let's see. Where's. I know I saw it. I get so many emails, y'all. You wouldn't believe it. You wouldn't believe how many I get. I I forget sometimes to look at the spam folder. I looked the other day. I guess it had been a, a couple days or so since I looked at it and deleted them. And uh, it had like 1,200 just spam stuff. 
And, and sometimes they'll put stuff in spam that shouldn't be in there. Like uh, actual personal, uh, uh, you know, messages, emails. Uh, like to give you a good example, you know, uh, we just had the giveaway and, you know, we got to our winner, Lori. And, uh, you know, I, I said, well, we never, she never has emailed. Well, she had had emailed uh, and I said, I, I said, I haven't got it yet. And then she sent another one, and I was like, I still hadn't got it yet. And then I said, well, maybe. I said, surely it wouldn't be in, uh, uh, you know, spam. And there it was, you know. And she had done everything, you know, she was supposed to. And you know, I, I was like, well, I can't believe that. You know, I think the only re they, they really look for, like, keywords or something, I guess. It's probably a computer thing doing it. And I guess it said something about giveaway. Uh, it's the only thing I can think of, but it had, you know, like her name on it and stuff. So I don't know. I, I think that's a little overkill if it's, you know, I, I could have missed that, in other words, if I hadn't have known to look in the spam. So always look in your spam for your emails uh, and see what all's in there. And even when you delete uh, emails, they're still there until you permanently delete them. I didn't realize that, and I had thousands. I still have some I hadn't been able to get rid of from years ago that's still on there. I could do it forever, and I'm trying to get rid of all those. It's, it's, I didn't even know. I thought when I deleted them, they went away, but they were in trash. <laughs> well, let's see what we got here. Uh... How micro adventures can inspire awe and improve well being. Says David Keltner, the author of Awe, the New Science of Everyday Wonder and How It Can Transform Your Life, defines awe as an emotion that we feel when we encounter vast mysteries that we don't understand. That sounds big, but it turns out it doesn't have to be. It can happen when we encounter somebody's extraordinary kindness. We listen to a moving piece of music. We're out in nature. We hear a big idea that really moves us, Keltner explained to CBS News. The UC Berkeley professor champions micro-adventures, simple, easy-to-achieve excursions that inspire a sense of awe and allow us to tap into the emotions, health, and well-being benefits without having to travel travel all the way to the Grand Canyon or Taj Mahal. It could be looking up at the night sky, meditating by the sunset, or taking an awe walk in which you pur purposefully keep an eye out for surprising or mysterious sightings. The benefits of awe are that it helps you with heart health, it helps you with your immune system, it gives you a sense of less stress, less bodily pain, an expanded sense of time, and less loneliness, Keltner said. Well, that's pretty interesting. Uh, okay, viral physics professor urges social media to encourage more women to join her field. Despite earning over 50% of bachelor degrees total, women make up only about one-fifth of degrees obtained in physics, according to the American Institute of Physics. Although the statistic has not de deviated much over time, staying stagnant during the period between 2007 and 2017, one female physicist is hoping to change that by inspiring young women to study science. Tatania Urikhimova, a physics professor at Texas A&M University is using the power of social media to spread the message that women are just as capable as their male counterparts when it comes to pursuing a career in the field. And she's certainly reaching the masses. Yura Kamova's viral TikTok videos have gotten millions of views over the past two years. They mainly show quick experiments like using a banana as a hammer and removing ice cubes from a glass of water with a string that highlight the fun of science. You cannot explain much in these short clips, but you can inspire. Yuka Morova, who earned her doctorate in Russia before moving to College Station, Texas, told CBS News. You can tell when a teacher wants to be somewhere else, but when you walk into Dr. Tatiana's classroom, you can tell she wants you to be there, said former student Nicholas Kirigonia. 
She cares and wants you to learn, which makes you want to learn too. That's that's pretty neat. Let's see if we can find a. Here's a quote of the day. I don't understand why they have it on certain days and don't. Uh, this one is from Jean Shinoda Bowling. When you discover something that nourishes your soul, care enough about yourself to make room for it in your life. All right, that's great. Okay, everybody, that's going to be it this morning for morning coffee break. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, I hope you'll press that like button. Please press that like button if you enjoyed the show. Uh, I really appreciate that, and it helps my channel uh, immensely. So I really appreciate that. I'd like to get, get more likes in there. So Also, subscribe if you haven't already and share this out. And hit that so you get all my videos as soon as they come out. Everybody, I hope you have a great day. I'm just, you know, I think I'm just going to take it easy. Um, but we, we're going to have to mow soon. But it's been rainy and stuff, so I don't know the first nice day we'll, we're going to have to mow again. But I'm hoping I'll feel better by then because it makes me sore all over, like, and my uh, legs get sore for some reason. And, um, uh, you know, of course, I just feel blah and tired, really tired. So... Um, you, I guess you never really totally get used to it, but you expect it, you know. So that's that's fine though, because I, as I said, the rest of the, the time I I feel a lot better after that. So uh, anyway, everybody, uh, thanks so much for watching, and check out the grocery outlet haul today with crazy cheap prices. Bye everyone, and God bless.